Who's the most terrifying creature in Bikini Bottom? The Dirty Bubble? The Alaskan Bullworm? The Flying Dutchman? Why, it's no other than SpongeBob's very own creation, Doodle Bob. So grab your erasers and sharpen those number twos as we dive into this legendary episode, Frank and Doodle. It was just a normal day in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob and Patrick are blowing bubbles and Squidward is wallowing in his own self-pity. But little did they know, there was magic being made above the surface. This artist's pencil was strong, almost too strong for one man. Now, let's rejoin our friends on the seafloor. It looks like a giant pencil. Go touch it. It is a giant pencil, Patrick. Let's draw some giant pictures with it. We all know SpongeBob is a top-tier artist in Bikini Bottom. Just imagine what will happen when his creativity runs wild. It's a jellyfish. SpongeBob, your drawing's coming to life. Now that's more like it, Mr. Critic. No, I mean it's swimming away. Do you know what this means, Patrick? Your art can never hang in a museum. SpongeBob's art will never hang in a museum? Oh, just like Squidward's. Nobody would take them, so I had to eat them. Poor Squidward. But SpongeBob, on the other hand, he could create anything. With that magic pencil, he could create an endless food supply or all the money in the world. Or a mustache. Life is good! Easy come, easy go. Wait, I've got another idea. Warning, the following clip is actually a horrible idea and is not condoned by the good people of Bikini Bottom. This'll be the ultimate prank. I'll draw me, and when Squidward answers the door, it won't be me. <laughs> And there he was, Doodle Bob, SpongeBob's masterpiece. Bah, 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 bah. Created for one purpose, to mess with Squidward. But this sponge was unaware of the power within the pencil and his doodle. He's beating up Squidward. <laughs> He's got the pencil. What have I done? The doodle cannot be contained. SpongeBob created a monster. A monster with the power of the pencil. Where could he possibly be? Maybe he's in that poorly drawn pineapple. Come on, let's go. SpongeBob and Patrick have never been known to shy away from danger. <laughs> what just happened? But even Doodle Bob proved to be too much for them. <clears throat> Neo Flyland. See what I mean, Patrick? Where's the leak, ma'am? As long as he had the pencil, he was unstoppable. You okay, Patrick? Finland! Any last words? I'm sorry, what was that? We reached out to our top doodle translators, but even they aren't sure what he just said. This is for your own good! Take that! And this! And this! And that! And this! That! 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 I am SpongeBob! Destroyer of evil! Well, that takes care of that, eh, Patrick? Done and done! The doodle was back, and this time, it was personal. Ah, doodle Bob! <laughs> no hard feelings, right? Of course there's no hard feelings. Just look at that face. Does that face look like... Oh, boy. No! Gee, maybe if SpongeBob kept his Neptune-loving eyes open, he would have seen he missed the doodle's arm. Sloppy work, SpongeBob. Nonetheless, he needed to think quickly before he was completely erased out of existence. Huh? Paper! Page for Mr. Doodle!
The pencil is too powerful for one sea creature. SpongeBob and Patrick did the only thing they could. It was time to return it to where it came from. Are you ready, Patrick? Ready. We rejoin the artist in a creative slump. Huh? What's, what's this? My pencil! <laughs> the second most important rule for the artist at sea, always bring a pencil sharpener. No!